This is a Fox News alert. We have just learned that Senator Rand Paul has tested positive for the coronavirus. The official confirmation came in a series of tweets just a few minutes ago, and I want to read them to you in full. They read, Senator Rand Paul has tested positive for COVID-19. He is feeling fine and he is in quarantine. He is asymptomatic and was tested out of an abundance of caution due to his extensive travel and events. He was not aware of any direct contact with any infected person. He expects to be back in the Senate after his quarantine period ends and will continue to work for the people of Kentucky at this difficult time. Ten days ago, our D.C. office began operating remotely, hence virtually no staff has had contact with Senator Rand Paul. So that's certainly some good news there. But Leland, Senator Rand Paul becoming just the latest member of Congress to test positive for the coronavirus. And we knew that this was certainly a possibility when you have this many members of Congress traveling and flying from all parts of the country here to yeah. Capitol Hill. It brings up a couple of important issues. Number one, uh, voting because they have to vote in person by law uh, on things, and you've got this huge couple trillion dollar spending bill coming up. Uh, there's questions about what the House is going to do. Would they pass it by unanimous consent so they don't all have to fly back uh, from their districts? What happens if it's a close vote? What are the constitutional rules as it relates to voting from some distance away? The other thing on a personal level, you think about Rand Paul, he's a physician, physician himself. If there's anybody who would know, as your father would and other docs that we know, about the risks of the coronavirus and how to be careful in your everyday life not to get it, it would be him. So it does show you just how contagious this virus can be. We know Cory Gardner uh, is in quarantine as well, the senator from Colorado. So is this mushrooms out uh, as we think about just how different the week looked a week ago and what we were talking about last Sunday versus today? Just extrapolate that out till seven days from now and America will once again look very different. It just shows you anybody can get the coronavirus. Yeah. And if you think it might be easy to allow members of Congress to vote remotely, just think of what happened during the Iowa caucus. These things <laughs> are not easy to do. They're very technologically difficult. And while they're not, uh, you know, it's kind of like comparing apples and oranges, but it is anytime you try to do something digital that that is that, is that <laughs> complex. It's uh, tough, so not well, going to be ready in time we, for this We pandemic. know that there are contingency plans out there. Whether or not they get put into use or not, uh, we'll wait and see as the negotiations on Capitol Hill uh, continue. And that bill was, uh, the spending bill is something that uh, Rand Paul certainly had a number of thoughts about.